That's Joel Gray and Liza Minnelli in the classic film version of the musical Cabaret. Mo Rocca reports the show's back on Broadway. Its message still resonating more than half a century on. In 1966, when the musical Cabaret first appeared on Broadway, audiences were dazzled and disconcerted by the show's depiction of life in early 1930s Berlin. Joel Gray played the MC of the Kit Kat Club. He would reprise the role in the Oscar-winning 1972 film version, welcoming patrons to... Leave your troubles outside! But it's an invitation laced with menace, since waiting in the wings is the horror of the Nazi Third Reich. The cabaret is a place of hope. And I think it's why all of these really extraordinary beings descend on it. And how that hope is dashed and broken and destroyed. destroyed. Is cabaret a warning? For me it is. It shows the the hope, the joy, the aspiration, but it shows how progress can be taken from you and we can regress. In the brand new production, renamed Cabaret at the Kit Kat Club, opening this weekend on Broadway, Gail Rankin plays funny, flighty, live for today singer Sally Bowles. Life is a, a role immortalized cabaret, old by Liza Minnelli in the movie. Come to the cabaret. I started thinking about Liza the other night and I was like, stop, stop, stop it! And the first thing, maybe this time, I was like, I honor you, I honor you, I honor you. I have to go on stage now. <laughs> And a serpentine Eddie Redmayne seduces the crowd as the MC. And every night beneath where you're standing, I sort of emerge from down here and that iconic drum roll. Mm. I stand in the bottom waiting to be rocketed up to the stage and it feels like going to the guillotine. And mm -hmm. then just as it starts to rise, something euphoric happens. <laughs> Welcome. Both Rankin and Redmayne have been to the cabaret before. She in a supporting role in the 2014 revival starring Alan Cumming, Redmayne, an Oscar and Tony winner, in the 2021 London staging of this new production. But his connection goes back even farther. You've had a long-term relationship with this show. How old were you? I was about 14 or 15 years <laughs> old. I was at school and I was cast as the MC and I'd never listened to Cabaret, I'd never, so that was my introduction to it and something in that experience struck me. I don't come from a very theatrical family. My parents were always beautifully supportive, but from an early age, I was like, this is what I want to do. And, and my parents were like, okay, but, but we hear all the statistics about actors being out of work and I don't know, is this the thing? And I'll never forget that after they came to see my school production of Cabaret, they were like, go for it. Really? You may have noticed that the three of us are surrounded on all sides by seats. It needs to feel different. It needs to kind of shake us up and take us to a different world. It needs to sort of let us forget where we are and who we are. In a radical reimagining of the August Wilson Theatre, designer Tom Scutt ripped out the old stage and added seating to create a nightclub in the round. Oh, this is wild. Yeah. <gasps> this correspondent can attest it's a very big deal. This can only happen if you are witnessing other audience members going through the same thing as you, the same feelings that you are. I think the more we can do that, the better. Hi. We were there when the cast saw the reconfigured theater for the first time. Absolutely. Well, I can literally touch people. This is, this is fantastic. We can come in, we can say hi. We can talk, walk amongst everybody. Even getting to your seat in this production is an experience. This is what we're calling the vault bar. Rather than enter through the theater's front doors, denizens of this Kit Kat club walk in through the side for a show before the show. You get taken into these cavernous bars and you pass performers, musicians. 
with the idea being that once you enter the theatre, the space we're in now, the theatre proper, you have genuinely left all your troubles outside. You're in Weimar, Germany. They're lulling you into a feeling that makes you understand just how evil the evil is. Lulling, boom. Yeah. Wow. Two-time Tony winner B.B. Newworth plays Fraulein Schneider, the Gentile owner of a boarding house who falls in love with a Jewish man. If you bought me diamonds, if you bought me pearls, and then faces a terrible decision. Moses, like some other gents might cling to other girls. There's darkness and there's light in everything. And in this show, there is light and there's horror as well. Why does Cabaret keep coming back? The first answer is the music, yeah. because it's just glorious. Maybe this time that glorious score is by John Kander and Fred Ebb. It's also sadly timeless because it is also a story about encroaching evil and what do we do in the face of it? Do we recognize it? Do we acknowledge it? Do we fight it? Even in the happiest moments, yes. it's there, right? Yeah, that's right. You can feel it just beyond the theater's doors. Just outside, there are rumblings. The musical Cabaret turns 58 this year. Original MC Joel Gray recently visited the theater to celebrate his 92nd birthday and confer his blessing on Eddie Redmayne, Gail Rankin, and the rest of the company. They hope to welcome many more patrons to their club. Oh my gosh, wait until my mom and dad I come over. Wait. They're so excited. My dad, I remember saying, like, I spoke to him the other day, he's like, I just... I just hate the fact that you're over in New York and I should be, I could be there every night. He said, <laughs> that is so <laughs> very sweet. sweet.